All right, let's say you'd love to have a custom transition or some new transitions in Camtasia, but we didn't ship any new transitions this time around. All right, well, something like this would be pretty cool, right? Well, good news is you're not stuck with these sort of uh, tired old friends over here in the transitions panel. Uh, with Camtasia 2020, you can add additional flavor all your own. And we're going to show you how to do that. Uh, in this example, we're going to specifically talk about alpha channel footage and an alpha invert uh, track mad. All right. So first of all, let's deconstruct what's going on with this transition. Um, you can see I'm going from screen video to some drone footage. Um, I'm just going to isolate uh, this for you for a second. This is just the drone footage right here, right? Video back there to drone footage. Um, Isolate this guy. This is just our screen video, right? And then I'm going to isolate what's going on on the track mat. So if we come over here, you can see that we've got these flames, right? And like I said, this, these, this video clip here that's sitting on this track mat is a special type of video that has an alpha channel in it, right? What does that mean? It means it has transparent pixels baked into the actual video, right? So uh, a good way to look at this is just we'll come out of this uh, and we'll come over and look at a real simple example. I've just got a shape and then I've got that same uh, flame footage here. And just to prove to you that uh, the thing is transparent uh, we're, or has transparency in it, we'll switch the background color of that shape. And you notice I see wherever there's transparency in this video clip, I can see through it, right? And then the nice thing about this particular video clip is uh, it, it goes to basically almost full, full coverage in terms of opaqueness here, which is something that you kind of want to look for, right? So if I was to look at this, um, one thing you'll notice is that uh, this particular video clip, I've actually got it scaled way up. It's actually quite small from the asset store, right? And normally that doesn't look too great. It looks a little bit grainy, but for this transition effect that we're going to do in matte mode, it's going to be just fine, right? So let's come back over to our transition, which is only thing we care about are these three clips and their interaction with each other, right? So I've got these going on here. What's happening? Well, if we look at the track mat mode, it's set to alpha invert mode. And I've got some handy dandy documentation that I've written up and that I refer to quite often just to keep things straight in my head when trying to explain things to people. So alpha invert, how does it work? Well, fully opaque pixels in the track mat media will be invisible. They will make things in the track below them invisible. And so fully transparent pixels in the track map media will make things in the track below them visible, right? So we can see this. Remember, one of the rules of track maps is a track map only affects the track immediately underneath it, right? So when we're off over here, we don't have anything on this map media. And it's, uh, so there's nothing here. So full transparency. We're seeing right through it all the way to this track right here. And uh, same thing over here on this side. Full transparency. There's nothing below it. So we just see what's our next lowest in the stack, right? So as this set of flames here moves through this and we have more and more opaqueness, it's hiding more and more of this, making this transparent so that you can see through it into this track right here. And as that transparency in the clip diminishes or gets covered up by the flames, we see less and less of this. And remember, let's go back to our documentation. Fully opaque pixels make things invisible on the track below. Fully transparent pixels make things visible, right? So, we get this nice, nice transition really simply by just, and this is a couple things to note. Notice I've got two pieces of media. I've got them overlapping and that overlap matches exactly 
the length of that clip, right? Now you can take a longer clip and apply clip speed. You could group it up with something, do all kinds of crazy effects. But this is just a real basic custom transition that you just built by flipping a couple of switches, overlapping your media, and having the right type of media. Now, one thing I should point out is that on our asset store, you can actually type in alpha channel and there's a whole bunch of footage that's up there. Now, what you've got to be careful about is some of these videos are actually uh, have a true alpha channel in them and others are more set up for uh, what's known as uh, another way you can do transparency, which is known luminosity. It's uh, so black and white and black and white and the gradations in between are what defines it. So I'm just going to show you this as an example of how you might have searched for Alpha Channel, downloaded this uh, this nice clip right here, which has lots of coverage. It gets to fully, fully black by the end of it, which is one of those things you're kind of looking for is you, you want things to be covered up and you're like, oh yeah, I found it, right? And I'm going to use that Alpha Invert technique because it says it's an Alpha Channel video. Well... I just so happen to have over in my downloads folder uh, that particular guy, right? And so we've, we're still in alpha invert and we haven't changed anything. This is that piece of uh, fire footage. And I'm going to go ahead and just do a replace on him. We'll ripple him. He's a little bit longer. So uh, instead of clip speeding him, I'm just going to overlap my tracks more to get a nice match. And I'm going to go like, hey, what's going on here? I just get this hard cut from screen video to the drone footage. Why? Well, this isn't actually alpha channel footage, right? So if I were to pull this up, uh, actually, let's just group him and dive into him and we'll pull him actually off the map over there and then I'm gonna put another piece of footage underneath him. I'm gonna hide my main stage content and uh, you can see I can't see through this guy and that's because there is actually no transparency in this clip. It's black, shades of gray, and white, right? And that will work for a different type of transparency, uh, a different mode, and so if I switch into luminosity mode, that actually defines transparency. Let's go to our documentation. See, I get this nice transition between the two. Okay, luminosity is how it determines transparency in the track below is it's the relative brightness of pixels makes things more or less visible, right? So if I have true white, which is the max brightest pixel you can possibly have on a computer, then... I'm 100% visible. If I have true black, then my min brightness is 100% invisible. And so those same principles apply over here. This is black and white. We've got it set to luminosity mode. And now as the black pixels start to come into the screen through this clip, they're punching, they're punching a hole, making invisible what's on this layer so that we see what's underneath it. And it's this track right here. And as these pixels over here in this clip are still completely white or shades of gray, so I can still see this clip right here, right? So that's how luminosity works. You might get tripped up when you're searching the asset store. One other thing I should note is that Camtasia 2020 now supports ProRes. And we support ProRes 4444 with up to a 16-bit alpha channel. So you can actually export out your own uh, motion graphics or other video clips with an alpha channel out of something like After Effects, Adobe Media Encoder or something like that. You built them someplace else. Choose ProRes 4444 4 with a 16-bit alpha channel and you can use those clips in here. Um, there's some ProRes stuff up on the, uh, on the asset store. Um, they, they're using alpha channel very... Uh, very confusingly because they they sort of mash both alpha pure luminosity white black stuff with things that actually have fully transparent uh, pixels in them right so anyways 
That's transitions. Cool custom transitions in Camtasia 2020 using track mats. Gosh, that's cool. Hope you guys have fun with this.